Hello everybody, Jack here, yes, I am finally on The Parch Films. You may know me from The Parch Podcast and the live streams we'll be doing over Christmas. Well, it's finally time for me to do, ah, yes, a single player series. I think we're going to start a little bit of Portal. Ooh, okay. Ah. Now, I have played this before and completed it, so hopefully I remember a thing or two. The radio's, uh, quite loud. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Ah, uh, okay. This ought to be fun. Hello, GLaDOS. Now. Ah, yes. An easy puzzle to get us started. Let's have a look here. So, obviously, the button opens the door. Get our cube. Pop it there. Excellent. Boom. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. Yes. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so Gaz has been doing Half-Life, steve has been doing Pokemon, and I thought I'd have a crack at Portal. Hey! My character on the parched banner is uh, in a Portal jumpsuit, so I might as well. Now, what have we got here? Uh, wow, none of these things. Not even cake? Oh, come on! Test 1 of 19. This ought to be easy. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Right. Ah, there's our cube. Um. Come on. There we go. Now, where do we... Oh, no, oh, quick, go, go, go! Ooh, okay, that was fun. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Right, so that's that one completed. Ah, there we go. Run, 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 run. Woohoo! Test one complete. Tick. What is that? Uh, so blue, blue stuff. Is that supposed to be there? Hmm. Who knows? Right. Test. You're doing two. very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Hmm. That is always promising. Right, we have a portal gun down there, which we need to get to. That was surprisingly easy. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. Yay! With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. 
Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. Oh wow, that's helpful. I want to get that radio. I've never noticed it before. Look! It's a radio! How do I get it? I want to get that radio. Did I get it? Ah, oh, look! What's this doing here? Weird. I'm going to take it with me. Where's the door? There. Right, okay. Did I just get an achievement for that? What the? That is weird. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I'll have to have a look at uh, look out for that later. See what it actually means. Hmm. Okay, so that's test two completed. Test three. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. There is a gap, but there's also an orange portal. So, here we go. Ah. Well done. Remember, the efforts of science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Wait, whoa, what? <laughs> oh, I love the lore of Portal. It's, uh, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's one of those games that on the surface of it, it's not deep at all, but the deeper you go into it, like, there's a story there. Like, Animal Crossing is another one, like, like, seriously, if you look hard enough, there's a proper plot to Animal Crossing. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Yes. There's a barcode on my portal gun I've just noticed. I wonder if you scan it, what it says. Anyway, there's gonna be cubes in this one, apparently. There's another radio! What? I'm gonna take that with me. If I find a radio, I'm gonna take it with me. Radio first. Can I hear you? That doesn't work. Alright, I'm gonna put this by the door so I remember. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. What am I supposed to do with the damn radio? To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Yeah, well, screw you too, GLaDOS. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Come on, radio. You're coming with me. Now on 85.2 FM. That one Jonathan Coulton song that made its way into a video game. Hi, Mr. Coulton. I'm a massive fan. If you're watching this, then please, please can I come to one of your concerts? Come to Britain. You haven't done that in years. Right. Test five. More cubes. Well, apparently cubes won't drop from the ceiling in this test, which is good news. Or is it bad news? Maybe it's both. Right. Onwards. Yes, okay. There's one. We need a second. Hello. That was surprisingly easy. Da da da. What's with these radios? As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Interesting. Am I supposed to do anything with these radios, or...? It's really quite... They just burn! They just burn and die! <laughs> I am royally confused right now. Ooh, look, thingies. Apparently I'm gonna get hit in the face Bio by a ball. Is one of many enrichment center goals. The aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject on down here. What? This is turning into an interesting video. I've forgotten how good this game was. <laughs> I wish I had a portal gun in real life. Imagine how cool everything would be. Like, even something as boring as, like, walking the dog or something would just be so much more fun. It just would though. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Right, where are we going to put this now? So that goes there. That goes in there. There we go. Good. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Unstationary scaffold. Okay. If that's what we're calling them now. What? No! Didn't work. I'd like that to be a bit straighter, please. There we go. And on we go. Yay! Um, how is this moving? It's just on like a laser beam thing. I am confused. Wow, much confused. Such mystery. Wow. There it is again, look! Flashy mysterious lights from hell. Loading. Oh, don't you love old source games? I think we have time for one more. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Oh wow, because I really don't want an unsatisfactory mark on my test record. That would be the that that oh that would be so bad. Right. So as soon as that's in there, we put that there and oh no yes there we go. And then we could put put it there. But no, now we need to. Oh, okay. I get it. I think. Ah, look! What the? This on the radio. What's it doing here? I've completed this game before, and I've never noticed these radios. What is with them? Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Well, I think I'm going to end it here, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. Remember, if you want to see more content like this, then subscribe to The Parch Films. I highly recommend it. It's a very good channel. It might be, uh, it might be influenced by uh, me as well, so have a look at that. Also, if you want to see more of my stuff, then why don't you come over to my channel? There'll be uh, a link to it in the end card. So, thanks very much for watching, everybody. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs>